In this tutorial, I'm going to be showing you how to create a movie style text effect, um, one which you might find on a movie trailer or for the film's title. So let's get started. So I'm going to start by making some text. And the font for this effect is very important, and I would recommend using a font which is bold and preferably uppercase. So I'm using a font called Go Bold, which is a custom font I downloaded from a free font website. So I'd recommend checking it out. So I'm just going to make a typical movie trailer phrase. So I'm just going to do coming soon. And next, I'm going to go to the align function and just make sure it's centered in the middle of the screen. So next, I'm going to right click and make it into a symbol. And a movie clip will do fine. And next, I'm going to double click to go inside the symbol. And I'm going to rename this layer to text. And then I'm going to make a new layer and call this one gradient. So next I'm going to make a rectangle. I'm just going to make it red for the moment so it stands out against the text. And I'm just going to make it roughly go over the text like this. And next I'm going to select it and go to color. And I'm going to select linear gradient. So it's going to give you the gradient which is the default of black to white and this is quite strong and I want something a bit softer so I'm just going to make the black into a dark grey and then the white into a light grey like this. Alright brilliant so next I'm going to select my gradient and go to a tool over here which is called the gradient transform tool and I've actually made a whole video on this so if you want to check it out you can click the annotation but basically what it allows you to do is edit your gradients once you've made them so for this I'm just going to rotate it 90 degrees like this and then just scale down the height like this. All right, brilliant. So next I want to combine the gradient with the text. So all I'm going to do is just click a right click on the text layer and make it into a mask. So now we have the combination of the text and the gradient. All right, brilliant. So next all I have to do is just select my text, go and make a drop shadow. Okay, so by default, it's given us quite a strong drop shadow, and first things first, I usually always put the quality to high when I'm dealing with these kind of effects. And all I'm going to do is, the blur settings are fine, but all I want to do is just adjust, adjust the strength and just make it a bit lower. I'm just going to make it about roughly 40. That'll do great. And there we go, we have our movie style text effect. Alright, so what I've done is I've exported my text from Flash as a PNG with an alpha channel and I've just quickly gone into After Effects and made a short trailer example. So let's check it out. So there you go, it's looking really good. So I hope you found this tutorial useful and if you want to see more like this in the future, please subscribe.